Chinero, 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 I don't know if I have to read, can I read it quickly? Yeah, you have to. Excellency, oh. can you please be silent? We are now reading our petition, our memorandum, that we are handing to the officials of in the Department of International Relations of South Africa. Uh, this is a call for South Africa to promote an acceptable solution to the Zimbabwe political situation. The Zimbabwe general elections of August 23 24 have been condemned as fraudulent not only by the country's opposition but by the credible international institutions such as Southern African Development Committee, Electoral Observer Mission, CEO, and other independent observer missions from the common market for Eastern and Southern Africa, COMESA, and African Union. The elections again exposed Zanpia for unshamed, deliberate disregard for the law. Static principles and guidelines governing democratic elections and general international voting standards. Static should act on its own CIOM report. The electoral environment was uneven, exemplified by the following. Number one, there was deliberate minimum 12-hour delays in the distribution of ballot papers to opposition strongholds such as Harare, Bulawayo, Manigaland, and Masuimbo. There were abductions, arrests, and beating of opposition and civil society activists. There were irregularities in the, de in the delimitation of constituencies. There were delays in releasing the voters roll resulting in missed opportunity to conduct an audit. There were restrictions in the freedom of assembly and expression emanating from draconian legislation like the Maintenance of Peace and Order Act, MOPA, and the Patriotic and the Patriotic Bill. A Patriotic Act, sorry, which criminalized anyone who criticizes Zimbabwe's sovereignty. There was restrictive nomination fees that limit participation like the unprecedented 20,000 US dollars fee for presidential nominees. That's about 400,000 grand. All our candidates requested to pay that, which is almost half a million grand in order to participate in the election. There was evidence of lack of judicial independence. There was deployment of the forever associate Zimbabwe a friend for Zimbabwe state intelligence throughout the country that's compromising the vote. There were problems of party state conflation. There was bias coverage by the state media, which contributed to the resolution of Zimbabwe's governance problem. It is in South Africa's interest to see a thriving and stable Zimbabwe. A comatose the Zimbabwe economy will continue to cause the influx of legal and illegal immigrants into this country, into South Africa. A situation that is fueling xenophobic harassment and violence against Zimbabwe. In 2018, South Africa was the first to congratulate Zanzibar despite the fraudulent election results. In 2023, President Ramaphosa is one of the only three heads of state who attended the inauguration of President Nangagwa. After another fraudulent election, instead of fostering the 2023 election dispute nationally, regionally, continentally, and internationally, we call upon South Africa, led by its respectable president, in collaboration with SADI, to promote solution that is acceptable, acceptable to all Zimbabwe. In conclusion, we call upon President Ramaphosa to accept and respect SADI report in its form. Zek announcement on election results is a disputed report which cannot alter via the such ceremony report. Please don't read the report. Number two, President Ramaphosa should not push him or shield the Zanfield President Emerson Nangagwa from dictatorship by de delaying such summit on Zimbabwe disputed election. Number three, we demand free and fair elections under a new environment in Zimbabwe. 
Number four, Zanpiev should be stopped from pulling the region. EG said the tribunal was abolished when, uh, when, because Zim did not want it. Since, there was, uh, since then, we know what happened uh, in 2017, November 2017. There was a good start and South Africa being the biggest economy in Southern Africa, if it's not in Africa, uh, has a responsibility to make sure there's stability in the region. Otherwise, the people will end up resorting into violence and there shall be bloodshed. And bloodshed through coups in South Zimbabwe will spill over into South Africa. Number five, conflict in Zimbabwe is not less important to the conflict in Palestine and Israel. Because Zimbabwe's lives matter. Zimbabwe conflict affects South Africa directly. Zimbabwe is under the military state and cannot be handled as a normal civilian state. Thank you, Honorable. We would love to say beside here is Beside here, I will sign here. There is another copy. I need that other copy, please. Where is that? With my ink and gloves. We need another copy, please, yes. What could happen? No. One Okay, so this is the copy that will remain with because it was already signed for. I don't know if you have anything to say, sir. Well, I can only start by conveying the apology of the Director General, who is currently engaged in another meeting. And he has mandated us to come and collect uh, this uh, uh, memorandum. And we thank you for uh, coming to share. your thinking and uh, I can assure you that the department will attend to uh, the memorandum and respond to it. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Uh, thank you. Hello. Thank you very much, uh, Mark We have come to the 